NASA finds a 22-mile-wide crater impact under Greenland ice. There's videos in here that you can see. I'll leave the main one from NASA underneath in the description box. This is on Sputnik News today. The newly discovered object is located only 114 miles away from a similar one discovered in November. The NASA glaciologist discovered what might be a 22-mile meter impact crater buried beneath the ice in northwest Greenland. Northwest, which is not far from Hudson Bay, where we had the huge uh, asteroid impact with James Bay, the little one next to it. I'm going to do another video on that uh, because it's what's what could have 80,000 years ago set off the minor eruption in Yellowstone and other uh, eruptions of supervolcanoes like the Long Valley and the Va and the others. Uh, there was a number of them, even the one in uh, Europe. So now uh, there seem to have been a lot of. Uh, asteroid impacts on Earth around that time. So uh, this is buried beneath the ice in northwest Greenland. It's unknown when the crater was formed, but the scientists believe it happened more than 80,000 years ago. It's located beneath the Hiawatha Glacier, and it's the first crater to be discovered beneath the ice sheet. Daily Mail reports, we surveyed the Earth in many different ways from air, land, and space. It's exciting that discoveries like this are still possible. This is what Joe McGregor, the glaciologist at NASA's Goodhart Space Flight Center, who participated in the November discovery, said. He said, helping identify one large impact crater beneath the ice was already very exciting, but now it looked like there could be two of them. According to the data obtained by moderate resolution imaging spectral radiometer instruments on NASA's Terra and Aqua satellites, along with those from NASA's Operation Ice Bridge, the crater is about 22.7 miles wide, which makes it the 22nd largest impact crater on Earth. There's a lot of them in Canada, a lot of them in uh, about 50 of them in Australia. Anyway, they're all over the world. Now, the possibility exists that the large crater is actually a collapsed volcanic caldera, but those are, un those are usually accompanied by magmatic anomaly, which is not the case with this one, scientists say. If this is really an impact crater, it must have formed more than 79,000 years ago because this is the estimated age of the ice sheet, researchers say. The other unlikely possibility is that during this period, all ice in the area had melted down. This is consistent with Earth's cratering record, they said. The researchers are currently trying to determine whether the newly discovered depression formed simultaneously with the November one, and it's possible that the two craters formed when a split asteroid hit our planet. However, the age of the ice on top of the two objects is different. The ice layers above the second crater are unambiguously older than those above Hiawatha, and the second crater is about twice as eroded, McGregor said. If the two did form at the same time, then likely thicker ice above the second crater would have equilibrated with the crater much faster than for Hiawatha. Interesting. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.